Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show an Excel feedback tip that I use very frequently to fit the print area into one page. So this is actually a very common question people ask. Uh, how can we write Excel feedback macro to uh, fit everything into one page when we print the documents? So here I have an uh, Excel uh, workbook. And on this uh, budget summary worksheet, uh, so here I have a, so I set the print uh, area into two pages. So if I go to file, and if I go to print, and if I look at the preview, and Excel is actually uh, dividing the printing into four pages. So here's page number two, page number three, and number four. Now let me go back. My goal here is to figure out what's the best way to uh, quickly to resize the print area into just one page. And I figure using Excel VBA will be the easiest and the quickest uh, solution. Now let's go ahead and open the VBA window by going to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. And here let's uh, create a new module. So I'm going to name this uh, subroutine uh, fit into one page. And I'll close the FIBA project window. So first I'm going to declare my objects, so my worksheet object. And I'm going to set the worksheet objects at uh, this workbook dot active sheets. So I'm, I'll be applying this macro to uh, any of the active worksheet. So that means uh, this macro of this uh, subroutine can be used on any Excel worksheets. So from the worksheet object, there's a methodical uh, page setup. The page setup method uh, allows you to configure different printing settings and the configuration. So we can do things like we can change the orientation. In this case, I'm going to choose landscape because that's the orientation that I want to print my document. And next, uh, for the zoom, you want to uh, set that to false. And there's a, a fit to page tall. And that's asking how you want to fit your uh, print area uh, by height. So I want to fit that into one page. And the same for uh, fit to pages uh, wide. So I want to fit that into one page as well. And lastly, we need to set the print area. So if we go back to the Excel sheets and uh, so I want to print from uh, cell range A1 to G43. Uh, so here, let me go back to VBA. I can just write uh, A1 to G43. Uh, and that's my printing area. And that's it. Now, if I go back to uh, Excel and if I go to view macros, now, if I click on run the uh, fit into one page macro, and as you can see that uh, the macro will readjust the print area and fit everything into just one page. Now, if I go to file, and if I go to print, now this time everything uh, fit nicely into just one page. All right, guys. So this is everything I have to show you guys in this video. And hopefully you guys found the information useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.